McBride. gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. <laughs> you may be seated. Well, good afternoon, and welcome everyone. We've got a lot of flower girls running around here, like nine of them. It's a world record, I think. i got to say, first off, I don't think we could have asked God for a more beautiful day. It is absolutely gorgeous to the Rice family and the Schmidt family and... Liz and all the bridal party, you guys did an amazing job. It's absolutely perfect. So on behalf of Kyle and Jana, and on behalf of the families, I welcome you. Thank you for coming. And uh, on behalf of all of us, Kyle, Jana, thank you very much for having us share this day. It's absolutely awesome. So we're gathered here for the marriage of Kyle Or Orville Schmidt. Didn't know that was his middle name, did ya? <laughs> That's not the only shocker. And Jana Marjorie Rice. Thank you all for being here. So before we go on for the rest with the rest of the ceremony, um, let's just take a moment to pray. And so I just encourage you, um, no matter who you are, where you're at, what's going on in your mind right now, as we pray, I just ask you to open your heart to the Lord and soak in this moment. Because life's too precious to watch moments like this go by. So if you would, just bow your head with me and close your eyes. And let's just thank God for this day. So Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for this day. God, we thank you so much for Kyle and Jana. Lord, we thank you so much that you've brought them together. And God, we believe that you have brought them together that you have prepared Kyle to be the man that Jana needs, and you've prepared Jana to be the man, to be the woman that, that Kyle needs. Mm -hmm. Father, we just thank you so much. We thank you that we can celebrate today. We can celebrate marriage, something so beautiful that you've created. And God, we just ask that your presence would be in this place, that your peace would be in this place, that your joy would be in this place. And Jesus, we give you all the glory. And we just say right now, it's all about you, God, and it's all for your glory. We thank you for what you're doing here today. We thank you for what you're doing in the, their lives. I pray you bless them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we're going to start off the ceremony this morning with a scripture reading and a song. Jana and Kyle have chosen to the day comes to us from the Gospel of John, 
chapter 15, verses 9 through 17. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. You will abide in my love just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be full, and that your joy may be full. The word of the Lord. Would you stand and sing with us, please? Thank goodness God sees our hearts and not our exact words when we pray. Jan is the perfect woman for Kyle, to clarify. Well, we're really excited. I don't know about you, but I'm I'm genuinely so excited for these guys. I'm so excited for Kyle. So excited for Jana. And uh, I've got the chance to know Jana uh, pretty well over the last several years. Watched her grow in her faith. Uh, every every summer we spent time together at Pahocha. I watched her grow and grow and grow in her faith and her character. 
I also watched her grow in her competitiveness uh, with the Fahocha games. Uh, some healthy competitiveness there from the Rice family. They love their games. And uh, she gave the guy counselors at Fahocha a pretty good run for the money. Um, and then uh, this one guy strolled up named Kyle Schmidt. And uh, he, he uh, competed pretty well in the Fahocha games. And I think that's one of the first things that uh, caught her eye and struck her attention. Who's this guy winning in the game category at camp? So, uh, yeah, it's awesome. I've also got a chance to know Kyle the last few years. He has uh, also just been an awesome guy that I respect and admire. Um, a lot of things I could say about Kyle stick out. Um, not just only his competitiveness, but his hum humility and love for people. I watched him pour into guys, pour into young men, genuinely loves people, genuinely wants to see them grow in their faith, grow in the, to be the man that God's created them to be. See a lot of selfless serving in him. And um, also one thing about Kyle that I've seen that he's committed. And he's committed to his family. He's been committed there in university, committed in the military. Um, a few summers back when we were at Pahocha Kyle, Remember, I had the broken back, and he was committed to get me in dodgeball playing condition by the end of the summer. He didn't succeed, but he was committed. And Kyle is a, is a, is a guy um, of character and integrity. Um, if there's anything we know about relationships, we know that relationships take commitment. Uh, being committed to the other person, committed to the pursuing the other person. And um, I couldn't be more excited. Today, really what I have on my heart to share is I want to share about the two most important relationships we have in this life. Now, we know that God is a God of relationships. Even before He created the earth, it was the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit just hanging out. Who knows what they were doing, but they were hanging out. It wasn't just one, but it was a fam the demonstrated family. And God created man and He said it wasn't, He wasn't fit to be alone, so He needed to fit, uh, create a partner that was fit for Him. And he created a partner, and it was a woman. And they called it woman because when the man saw the woman, he said, Whoa, man, we we'll call that woman. He's the God who designed family. We have family on this earth because that's his design. In fact, the greatest revelation, Jesus comes and he reveals the heavenly father who wants us to be his sons and daughters. Um, if you think about why you work, right? All the farmers here hear me right now. That's that spring planting, that fall harvest. You want to know why you're, you're working. You want to get paid, right? Well, why do you want to get paid? You want to have money, right? Why do you want to have money for your family, for the people you love? You want the reason we work, the reason we 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 want um, to be able to provide, so that we can have time with our family, um, time with the people we love. And life really does revolve around that concept of relationships. And God is a God of relationships. I want to share with you the two most important relationships in this life. And so first, I'm going to talk to you guys as individuals. And then secondly, I'll talk to you as a couple. The most I give this ring to you to wear as a symbol of my abiding love and a reminder of the vows we've made today. Kyle and Jenna. You guys have just vowed to love one another your whole lives and exchange rings as a symbol of that love and commitment before God and all of your family and friends. So by the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel and an ordained minister in the state of North Dakota, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has brought together, let no man separate. Kyle, make this the bride. <laughs> everyone here, it's my great pleasure to, to introduce to you for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Kyle Schmidt. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ushers will let each row out one at a time. Um, they'll be the receiving line just in the back here. When everyone has gone through the receiving line, we're going to have the reception in the big white tent right there. And uh, there's drinks and snacks in the tent until supper, and the porty potties are right behind the tent. Thank you very much. 